What's up guys? Today we're in Winsboro, Texas with USA Harness and we're here because recently we announced that we're upgrading our wiring harness to automotive grade in our relentless pursuit of progress. And one of the ways we're doing that is upgrading our wiring with USA Harness. Today I'm here with Kyle O'Dell. He's the plant manager. He's going to talk us a little bit about what the process looks like of making these and also tell me a little bit about what the project's been like with Diamond C. Yeah, so Diamond C approached us over a year ago. Uh, we've had Diamond C Engineering and USA Harness Engineering working together. We've developed a modular harness that's fully sealed. It's a plug and play harness. So, you know, your dealers, your installers, they're going to be able to upgrade very easily. It's plug and play, fully sealed, less corrosion, less failures in the field. Um, we're finally at a point where we're going to start walking you through these processes and showing you how it's made. So it's a good project together. Awesome. And we appreciate it. Let's go see how it's made. Okay. So one of the first stops that we're going to look at is actually the injection molding process. Now this is actually one of the wires is being made for our DOD or deck over dump. Kyle, talk to us a little bit about this. Yeah. So what we're doing here is we've got our wires cut. We've got them terminated with bullets. And what we're going to do is injection mold over these. Okay. So instead of using a hand crimp on splice or butt splice, this is going to be crimped on by machine, repeatable, and then we're going to injection mold over this to ensure that it's totally water sealed. So what he's going to do is uh, we put it on the load bar. Okay. He's going to shoot a shot right here to warm up his tool for a second to make sure it flows good. Okay. And then he'll load this in and we'll shoot a shot over these connectors. So he's making sure that those are pushed up tight where we don't get recessed pins. Okay. And he's loading a couple of blanks there. So now it's injecting plastic over those terminals. Yeah. Okay. So he's doing a quick visual inspection to make sure everything's correct, trimming any flash off, and then we'll have the, the molded cross product right here. So there you go. So this is Diamond C's new bullets, um, fully sealed. Our mating connector will actually go in and there'll be a ring seal that totally seals this off from the environment. Okay, so now we're at the part where we're gonna talk about our wiring harness. This is gonna be the section where you can uh, easily be able to add additional lights that you wanna do to your trailer. Kind of talk us a little bit through uh, how that might look. Yeah, so what we're gonna do here is we've got two female bullets. So if the dealer, if the customer comes to a dealer and wants added lights, this is a 36 ex uh, extension harness that we'll be able to just plug in. So we're adding ports, expandability, the dealer does not have to cut into the harness to add this on. That's the big thing is no cutting on the harness. It's still fully sealed and easily expandable. So our, the Diamond C dealers will have multiple links. So different positions of lights, anything will be plug and play. It will not require any cutting from the dealers. So they're gonna over mold this. And again, our, the company we deal with on the jacketing on the cable is the same company that supplies us our injection resins. So when we overmold this, it's a physical bond back together because it's a similar material. It's the same material essentially. So it's sealing off, uh, no water intrusion, no manual cutting. So this is Diamond C's expandable harness. So we can plug your standard marker clearance here, but we've got two ports where you can easily remove a plug and pl uh, pull another extension harness in for expandability. Okay. So that's a feature that Diamond C's engineering requested. We were able to partnership and work together to develop that. Yeah, and like you said, this is, this is really the plug and pay part of it. This is no, no crimping, no, no additional things like that. Makes it a lot easier for, for everybody involved, really. Yes. <laughs> and makes it a lot uh, better for being waterproof and, uh, and uh, lasts a lot longer. That's right? correct. Yeah. Durability. Okay, so now we're here at the next station. 
Kyle, talk to us a little bit about what's going on right here, because I gotta say, this looks pretty cool. This is a this is a good looking machine. Yep. So what this is, is a wire processing machine. It's computer controlled. So Diamond Seas Engineering worked with USA Harnesses Engineering. We measured all the trailers and we designed harnesses to fit each trailer specifically. So what this machine is gonna do is it's computer controlled, it's repeatable, and our engineering team loads the harness program so that every wire is cut the same every time. So, you know, no more guessing where connectors go, brake drops, whatever. The other thing this machine does is it strips both ends and then for brake drops, it cuts the outer jacket. And so we can go in in another process and we'll splice in ultrasonically the brake line drops and then over mold over that to completely seal this harness. So again, uh, custom design for each trailer model, um, waterproof, extremely durable, much less maintenance on this harness than what you've seen before. One of the last processes we want to show you is the splicing station and how it's different with the new way of doing things with USA Harness. Yep, so traditional splicing is done with butt splices. These are hand crimped on, yep. uh, inconsistent. People can make mistakes, right? Of course. So what we're going to do is machine splicing and it's ultrasonic. So we just take the cables uh, that we've seen cut on our wire machines, individual strips, and what we do is these machines behind us are going to clamp and ultrasonically splice that copper back together. So it's basically fusing all that copper through heat and vibration back together. Wow. Then we'll tape each one of those off individually, tape the entire bundle off, and we'll overmold in another process. Um, but just much more robust. It's computer controlled, again, like our wiring machines. So everything's in the same place every time. Awesome. Yeah, much longer durability with that as well. Yes. Um, one of the other things, yeah, I want to talk about is this this uh, part right here. This is something that uh, traditionally would fail with corrosion and things like that for some of our brakes over time. Yep, so uh, traditionally in the past, what's been used for brake splices is a butt splice. But what we're going to do is uh, Diamond C Engineering wanted a waterproof connector. Yeah. And so we worked and uh, found the connector proper sized and it's gonna to be totally waterproof, plug and play again, so. And some of that's for our snow, for some of our uh, northern customers. <laughs> yep, yep, so it's uh, very easy, very robust, yep. and longevity, right? Overall dealer quality, overall Diamond C quality. Absolutely, M much improved. So hey, I appreciate the time yep. today. Thank you. And we appreciate the partnership with Diamond C and USA Harness.